Welcome to Obviate.io videos. Howdy, I'm John and welcome to the first of a new breed of content from Obviate.io, namely videos. This video experiment is also a learning experience for myself in video editing, so I'll apologize in advance if the production quality isn't grade A. I'm working on it. Without further ado, let's get on to the tutorial that you're here for. Today we're going to be covering how to flash MicroPython onto your ESP8266 microcontroller. If you're unaware, MicroPython is a lean and efficient implementation of the Python 3 programming language that includes a small subset of the Python standard library and is optimized to run on microcontrollers and in constrained environments. As my day job requires a fair bit of Python, and I don't fancy C++, which Arduino uses, MicroPython makes life much more programmer friendly. For ESP8266 chips, I prefer to use the Wemos D1 Mini, as you see here. This particular ESP variant has micro USB for programming, easy deep sleep connectivity, 11 digital I.O. pins, one analog I.O. pin, and four megabytes of flash. The D1 Mini is also available via AliExpress for $3.50 US at the time of this recording. At that price, it is cheaper than most Arduino clones and can reasonably be included into any applicable project without breaking the bank. All of these links and links to everything that is in this video are in the description below. After we have the hardware, we have a few preparatory steps. The first of which is to install the driver for the serial to USB breakout, the CH340G. I won't bore you with showing you an install screen, but know that it is likely that you will have to reboot after install. The second piece of software required is ESP Tool. This is a Python based utility for communicating and updating the ROM bootloader of the ESP8266 and ESP32 chips. ESP Tool is what will actually be flashing the MicroPython firmware onto our Wemos D1. You may be able to use the pip install ESP Tool per the instructions, but on the Mac I've found that using easy underscore install utility works much more reliably. Last item to download is the MicroPython firmware for the ESP8266. As of today, the most recent version is 1.9.3. While I haven't experimented with it yet, there is also over-the-air updatable firmware available as well. Since the Wemos D1 has a 4 megabyte flash, it easily meets the space criteria. Now that we have finally finished all the prerequisites, let's flash some firmware. Since I'm demonstrating this on a Mac, the Wemos D1 will be showing up as a device under slash dev slash cu dot. Right now it's not plugged in, so there's nothing to see except for some default devices. But let's not forget our only major hardware step we have in this entire project, plugging in the single micro USB cable into our D1. Now that the Wemos D1 is plugged in, running ls slash dev slash cu dot star, should show us another entry. On my machine, it is showing up as slash dev slash cu dot wch usb serial 1430, though yours might be slightly different. Whatever it happens to be, keep that information around as we'll need it a few times. Before we write a new firmware, we need to erase the existing flash storage. To do so, we're going to run esptool.py space dash port space, and the port we previously identified, space, erase underscore flash. This should take about 10 seconds to complete. Once the flash erase finishes, we're going to write the new firmware. Once again, running esptool.py, space, dash dash port, space, the serial port we previously identified, space, dash dash baud, space, 115200, space, write underscore flash, space, dash dash flash underscore size equals detect space zero, and finally the file path where we have the ESP8266 MicroPython bin downloaded. Some of the instructions online say that you can potentially use a faster baud rate so as to flash the firmware faster. 
However, some of my previous attempts were not successful, and I found this speed to be more than safe and fast enough. It should complete in about 30 seconds. While it looks like everything worked, let's verify by connecting to the ESP8266, which should now have an interactive prompt. Type screen, the serial port you previously identified, space 115200, and hit enter. The three greater than brackets indicate that we're now in the MicroPython REPL, or read, eval, print loop environment. Congratulations, we officially have MicroPython on a Wemos D1 Mini ESP8266 microcontroller. To finish up our tutorial, let's blink the LED. I've got a few lines of sample code I'm going to copy and paste in here. Link in the description, of course. As you can see, we now have an ESP8266 happily blinking its LED via a few lines of Python. Congratulations and happy hacking. Personally, I'm working on integrating a BME280 temperature, humidity, and pressure sensor with this micro Python powered D1 Mini, and I'm going to have it send data up to an MQTT server. So you might see something about that soon. If this tutorial was of any help to you, please like, subscribe, or leave a comment. Also, if there is any specific follow-ups to this video you'd like to see, please let me know in the comments as well. Hack a great day.